Hello, in this video, we will learn about abstract classes and interfaces in Java. We had talked about abstraction in our previous video on object-oriented concepts, but today we will go in detail and see how we can implement it. So what is abstraction? Abstraction is the property by virtue of which you hide the complexity or working and only the essential details are exposed to the user. For example, in the real world we have all these gadgets like mobile phone cameras which work on a click of a button without us having to worry about internal working of them. They expose only the interface to work with them and hide the complexity inside. Similarly, in Java, we can achieve abstraction by using abstract classes or interfaces. Let's first see what is an abstract class. An abstract class is declared with keyword abstract and it has at least one abstract method. What is an abstract method? It is a method which is declared abstract without any implementation. So in this class shape, Area is abstract method and you just put a semicolon after the declaration. Other than abstract methods, abstract class can have all other class elements like constructors, variables, methods, static methods, etc. Because it has an abstract method area which does not have a body, abstract class cannot be instantiated, means you cannot create its object directly. Another class needs to provide implementation of it using extends keyword. The class extending the abstract class has to provide implementation for all the abstract methods in the abstract class. If they are not providing the implementation, then they can make the child class itself abstract. So the advantages of abstraction in Java are that it reduces the complexity as only necessary details are exposed. It increases software reuse and avoids code duplication. It eases maintenance too as all internal working is blocked. It helps to increase the security and confidentiality of an application. Now we will take a look at interfaces. It's one of the ways to achieve abstraction or multiple inheritance. However, Interface is not exactly the same as an abstract class or multiple inheritance. Let's see what is an interface. Interface is a blueprint without any implementation. It just dictates the common behavior amongst multiple classes. So let's say you want to declare shape as an interface for anyone to implement. You use the keyword interface and not class to define the shape. All of its variables are public, static, final by default and its method are public and abstract. Like abstract class, an interface also cannot be instantiated. Now to implement an interface, we use implements keyword. They can then add their own member variables and methods. A class that implements an interface must implement all the methods declared in the interface. These methods must have the exactly same signature means name and parameters as declared in the interface. Multiple inheritance is not allowed for classes in Java, but a class can implement multiple interfaces. For this, you can specify multiple interfaces with comma. Since the implementation is provided by the derived class, there is no ambiguity in the functions. Similar to classes, interfaces can extend other interfaces. The extends keyword is used for extending interfaces. For example, from our class shape, we can use extend to create another interface 3D shape. Then by default, it will inherit all shape class functions and you can add your own abstract methods. The inherited interface also needs to be implemented by a class to be instantiated. Since Java version 8, you can now put a default method with body inside the interface. 
they have a keyword default before the method. This helps us to change or update the interface later. For example, if we added draw as an abstract method later, then all implementing classes will need to implement this method immediately. If it is a large number, then it becomes error prone as well. But default methods solve that problem and implementing classes can provide their implementation as per their convenience. If the implementing class does not provide an implementation for the method, then the default body will be executed. Since Java 8, we can also have static methods in the interface too. Interface might look like a class, but it is not. If we see the difference between interface and class, you declare a class with keyword class and an interface with keyword interface. A class has a constructor, but the interface does not have a constructor. A class can have complete method implementation, but the interface contains only method declarations. A class can use different access specifiers such as public, protected and private, but by default interface has methods as public. So why do we use interfaces? It is used when the designer just wants to provide standard specification which everyone must follow when implementing the class. We use interfaces to achieve abstraction or multiple inheritance in Java. However, as we said, they are not exactly the same. So what is the difference between abstract class and interface? An abstract class can have both abstract and non-abstract methods, but interface can contain only abstract, default or static methods. Abstract class does not support multiple inheritance, but you can use interfaces to achieve multiple inheritance. Abstract class can have private protected members, but in interface all methods are public by default. So what is the difference between interface and multiple inheritance? It might sound as through interfaces you can achieve multiple inheritance, but that is not entirely true. In interfaces, you cannot inherit any variables except constants, while in multiple inheritance, you can inherit variables. You cannot have shared code or variables in the interface, but in multiple inheritance, you can. Interface does not form part of the class hierarchy as unrelated classes can implement the same interface. Multiple inheritance creates a class hierarchy. With this, we come to the end of this video. If you have any doubts, you can always join us or write to us at info at simplycoding.in. Thank you and all the best.